Okay, welcome back to Camping Penta Production. Uh, happy weekend. Hope you all enjoy your weekend also. Okay, today I'm going to take a look at the Trangia 27-4 UL Ultra Light Complete Cook System. Okay, from Sweden, made in Sweden by Trangia. Okay, a quick look around the box. Okay, sorry for the glare. Huh? Uh, this system is not new. I think I believe a lot of uh, YouTuber has already went through. So I'm not going to go into details, things like uh, how to use the system, how to cook, but more on an unboxing and then uh, to show you my intent of using it. And probably it may answer some questions or some queries or some I thoughts that you have, but the other video doesn't show. Uh, it is based locally on Singapore also. Okay. Without further ado, uh, quick unboxing. Okay, seal. Made in Sweden. Okay, let's remove the sticker. Okay. I got this locally, okay, from a shop uh, called Hop Gift. Hop Gift, Hop Gift Shop. Uh, I ordered it online. Uh, lazy to go down and it cost me about $6 extra, but it was pretty fast. I ordered on a Friday, it came on a Saturday, and I'm doing this review now already, okay? Okay, the box, let me put aside the box first. Out of the box, it come packed like that, with a stripe. Okay, this is my first time looking at it as per sharing with you also. Okay. So how do I remove these straps? You have, okay. There seems to be have a hinge here. Yes, I believe you're supposed to press it down. Press it down and pull through, okay? So this one, you need to press down. Press down, then you can pull through the strap and put it back on. You need to press down, put it in, and then you see the teeth here. Yeah, okay. To get back focus again. Okay, first one will be the non stick pen. <coughs> Why I like to go for the non stick pen because I find that during camping, eggs, ham, they tend to stick a lot of residue. And I know that non stick pen is easier to maintain in a way that after cooking, all you need to do is boil a bit of water. You clear off the, the oil, the stain, whatever, with a uh, tissue first. After that, you pour a bit of water. Then after that, you throw away the water and then you wipe again. It seems to work very well. Uh, I've seen other reviews, so remember to keep this piece. Don't throw it away. It helps to protect your non-stick coating when you put it aside. So this is an important piece, don't throw away. Okay, a quick Trangia guide. Okay, the standard. Okay, you all can take a look. Okay, uh, Trangia grip. Okay, I have used this Trangia, uh, 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 one that's the ones that was being used by my sister. I find that when I'm cooking egg, when I grip the pan, the heat transfer very fast. Uh, it kind of get hot. Um, I have not ne never seen other YouTubers say about this, but then my personal experience, I find it a bit hot. And I do have another grip that is from Alcos okay it is you can see the difference it is a lot thicker bigger but I believe the heat transfer may be slower yet to know but what I can do is uh, once I have started using it uh, probably I'll give a quick update okay in my description section that uh, does this grip works better Okay, it seems to work better. Okay, let's put this aside here. So, additional. This is something additional. Not doesn't come with it, eh? So, throw. Okay, uh, open it up. What I see here is a uh, okay. Of course, the kettle. Throw. Uh, the alcohol stove, which I already have. Uh, sorry for the. Uh, plain flyby, uh, the sound. Okay, this alcohol stove, which I already have. I may not use it, I may use the existing alcohol stove that I have. So that this, um, maybe I'll sell it away. Or maybe I will change to use this stove specifically for this and the alcohol stove for my other cook system. Okay, so alcohol stove. And the kettle, it's a pretty small kettle, I see the size, pretty small kettle, uh, what I can do is give a quick one, 
Okay, from one end to the other end, it's only about 14 cm. Okay, about 14 cm. Okay, it's good enough for water, probably a cup of water, or uh, that's water for your uh, ready to eat, ready to uh, meals ready to eat, MRE. Huh? Okay, kettle. Uh, inside, two pots. Okay. Good for probably in a local context, you know, we are not that adventurous that we have like from Taiwan they have like hot pot in the campsite or anything. Uh say probably Maggie noodle, a uh, cup of soup, and probably boil water for um coffee, all these things if you want to use the you want to bring the kettle. Okay, I think it's pretty it's pretty okay. Too hot. Okay, this is the stand itself. Okay with the movable hinge so this when it's open up it support the pan okay will this support the kettle no will this support the small pot no will this support the bigger pot no okay so for the pot kettle you have to put this in and it's recommended that you have a Sorry, the plane is flying by again. I don't know why. Singapore is uh, as if like going for war. Like every day fly by uh, around our gang area. Even on the weekends. Irritating. Okay. So it's good to have a multi purpose tool so that it can help you move or you can always use this to shift it up. Okay. When it's hot. Or shift it down. Okay. So with the thing down, does it support the kettle? Yes. Does it support the pot, small pot? Yes. The big pot? Yes. Okay. Then this is the, let's remove the stripe. This is the windscreen. Okay. The windscreen, of course, for your alcohol stove, this is giveaway. Okay. Does it only support alcohol stove? Can you put sticks below? Have a uh, what do you call that? Um, wood fire? I believe yes, but basically get ready to have this dirty with soot. Yeah? It does have a locking system like most of the YouTube you will see. See? You just go in, you turn it, and it locks. It is not a very secure lock, you can see. It does move around. But in a way that you just keep it in place as you're on the ground. Okay? The windscreen allows wind flow. Okay, Trangia branding. That is one thing that I have that is a third party. Trangia does sell a butane burner adapter. Okay, I have something that is similar that I have used before already. A third party one, cheaper from Taobao as usual. Okay, a butane burner. So, will it fit? Let's try. Okay, I don't know. My first time to put in. There's a hole here. Put it through. Ah, it does fit. Okay, and then of course on the other end, your standard butane stove. Screw it in. Okay, your switch is here. So you can hear the hissing sound. Yeah. So the same thing it goes whether you're using a alcohol stove or a butane. So you have your your base. Okay, your base which is also your windscreen. You have your attachment. Lock it in. And then you can have your cutter. And you can use it. Uh, using a butane it's easier to control the intensity of your fire. Ah, sorry, another flyby. Irritating. Okay, it's easier to contrain, control, contrain. <laughs> so angry with the flame. Uh, control your fire. Uh, how strong it is. So you want it to simmer, boil. Compared to alcohol stove. Alcohol stove, yes. All you need to do is adjust the cap, the cap opening, okay? 
of course, when you're using the alcohol stove, I mean, you already know, you know, you pour your alcohol inside, you light it up, it burns, you very warm, you put a bit of uh, alcohol over here. So if you want to control the intensity, you're going to put out the flame, of course, you just close, throw the lid down. If you want to control the intensity, you have to move this, but I find that it's not as ideal, ideal as a controlling. It still works. I mean, it depends if you, are, you prefer you bringing your alcohol stove. Uh, it still works. Uh, this is just a cap, a cap on top. It doesn't screw, sorry. Okay. So it works. Like, and there is one more thing that uh, I already have. And I'll quickly come back to it. Okay, I'm back. I was mentioning there's one more thing I still have. And that is the Trangia. Alcohol holder, okay. It is very good. I would highly recommend this. I saw a lot of people they use like medicines bottle or screws. I mean, there's a lot of bottle, transparent bottle outside there, but I have used those somehow. I don't know why other people don't need mine. Always leak. Probably it's just that the the quality of the bottles I have itself. I will always buy from those like uh, Daiso or two dollar shop cheap cheap one. But I find that ever since I have this, no turning back. It's very secure. It keep the uh, alcohol inside very well. Sorry, uh, uh, I think Singapore going for war. Uh. Keep flying by, don't know for what. Okay, then you're asking, okay, what kind of alcohol I'm using here? Singapore, it's not easy to get heat or uh, to get any like um, isopropane alcohol, and it's quite expensive when you get it from uh, pharmacy shops like NTUCs or even like uh, Watson's or these things. And you may have, you may not have. So, what did I get and I used that have been serving me quite well? What I use is Metanated spirit, okay? Four liters, seven dollars. Here. I got it from hardware shop. Okay? So from here I transfer over to here. It lasts me quite long. I have this for coming about a few months already. And I still have about probably half, half to three quarter of it. Because I got other cook system, so I don't solely use this uh, alcohol stove. And somehow I still prefer propane. Although there's weight to it, or I prefer to use other cook system that uses twigs and woods. Uh, okay. Uh, now with this, probably I want to try using this. Something I was thinking of going something simple or a complimentary or for family cooking. Okay. So these are the few things I have for this unboxings. As a recap, I got another grip that I want to try because I know the existing grip heat up and it's very hot to the hand. I want to try this or I may use a what do you call that multi-purpose tool to hold the pan or the pots okay to probably hold the pans or the pots to grip it or if I'm using this there's an idea that I have leather probably you can sew a piece of leather or you have something that is uh, pre-made uh, ready-made so that you can once you have it clip you slot it in and it kind of like a barrier between the metal and your skin okay it may, it may work also okay i think that's about all easy to dismantle take out take this thing out okay firstly i have to unscrew this uh, some people may ask me really every time i post uh, where do i get my butane i Got it from Beach Road, uh, Nelco, Nelco, and Nelco, Nelco. Okay, well, it was the second floor. There's a camping shop there. I used to get it from there, uh, and then I don't get ready because I got a refill adapter. Okay, I'll put a link at the end of this video about refilling this. How I refill this with those uh, seven dollars, eight dollars, three three uh, cans of uh, those steamboat. See, again, fourth time, five, five time ready, don't know for what. Okay, when I don't do video, they don't fly. When I do video, they like to fly around. Irritating. Okay, so I used to get it from them. Then after that, I realized black tactical also sell. Okay, black tactical also sell, but I'm not sure whether they still have stock. So do go online, search for the shop, give them a call to check whether they have stock or not. Okay, easy to remove. Just go back through the whole, take out the whole thing, okay? So this is your windscreen, your pot, yeah, your windscreen, 
your pot holder, your tubo. Ah, uh, take a note. The tubo, it won't go in one way. You must go in the other way. Okay. So one pot is indeed smaller. Okay. Lift up the latch or the lever. Put it in. Have your kettle in. Remember to lower this. Okay. Then I believe. Okay. The kettle, of course, you may want to put your trangier inside also, your alcohol stove, your trangier. Close the cap. Lower the lever just to hold it in place. Important, just now I have mentioned, have back the plastic, flip it around. There it is, all inside. Of course, nearly forgot. Either this or this. But this seems like a bit too big. Okay? So for the moment, let's say for the moment, for Trangier sake, okay? The same thing. Have it all inside. Uh, of course, it does come with uh, the loop. Put it through. One end. The other end. I mentioned, press the clip. From bottom, up the front. Press, pull tight, let go. Okay, there you have it. All contained. And then you may want to get a set so that you can put this whole thing in. Okay, so if let's say I'm to go, this is this may be one set, or if I take out the alcohol stove inside, this may be one set. Okay, or if I intend and I'm willing to sacrifice uh, having black soot all over the windscreen. Uh, I may just bring this and then I have a uh, quick tweak sticks uh, to have a flame, okay? A uh, wood flame, okay? Which I don't think I want to. Uh, huh? Too pretty to be all dirty uh, at the moment. Probably another one year, two years time when it has scratched all over, then maybe you know, now it's too new. I, I believe you also will feel the same. Okay, the Trangia unboxing to be tested. The whole set of it okay so you enjoyed the video uh, if you have any question do drop a do drop a questions below at the comment section below and if you like this video remember to subscribe and like and then so that I have more uh, other unboxings that you may be interested in then we can share also okay thank you bye